But you're on. Hi, uh, this is Anga Chuhi, and I'm with Sarah. Sarah, we are right here at Kula Nursery in Kula in Hawaii, and we were just looking at some of the garden fest you may have. We had a class, we have a class here every once a month, and today I wanted to show a quick check on some of those garden buds. So if you look at this plant, this is a, a very common local shrub, it's called Ixora. And you can see it's so black. The reason it's so black is because of this sooty mold. And the, the, the scale insects. You can see scale insects here. If I'll turn it around, you can see in the back, these are all scale insects. And they get on the leaves. And what scale insects do, they are sucking insects. So they will suck the sap from the plant and then they deposit it as these shiny stuff on the leaves it's called honeydew and on top of the honeydew a fungus forms that's what is that black sooty mold it causes the plant to become stunted it reduces the photosynthetic area and so the plant doesn't do as well but also sometimes it causes the leaves to become crinkled if you've ever seen your plants getting crinkled that's one of the reasons and these leaves i just wanted to demonstrate how much you can get all around Look at it, it goes mostly to the succulent ends. Look at that, mm. they go there. But I also want to show you a quick one on white flies as well. So this is a hibiscus shrub and it's got white flies all over. I mean, it's got so much white flies, look at that. Mm. On the leaves and on top, it causes it again to become crinkled. Of course, this is called um, erinium er mites. Um, that also gets on hibiscus but today we are talking about white flies so you find white flies sometimes they form these rings on the leaves and I think I had another one that I wanted to show you this is again white flies on hibiscus the third sucking insects that I wanted to show you is millibugs and these are millibugs they form along the junctions of the plant this is a shrub called uh, snow bush there's a snow bush shrub and it causes the sucking insects causes the leaves to become crinkled and they are tied and they are there's they are just um, stunted the plant doesn't look very good so what can you do if you have all these bugs on your vegetables or your fruits or or, or on a metal plant you can spray uh, if you wanted to so the first thing is of course if you get it so badly infected like this you can prune off you can prune off the heavily infested branches. There's no need of even trying to do anything. But of course, you should have observed them before they reach to this stage and make sure you can wash them off. You can take a water hose and once a month or once a week, sorry, you can wash off your branches to reduce on the infestation. The second thing is you can prune them off. You know, you can prune off the heavily infested branches. The third thing, if you have to spray, you can use some of the healthier, uh, more safer insecticides like neem oil. You can use horticultural oils or you can use insecticide or soap. And there's a whole range of different other products that you can use. We also have these yellow sticky cards which you can hang in your landscape and they enable the flying insects to be popped up. So again, this is Anke Chuhi of the Home Gardening Support Network and I have Sarah. Sarah here with her lovely uh, furry friend. <laughs> and you can learn more about our gardening programs at the Home Gardening Support Network.com. And thank you so much. We hope to see you at the Kula Nursery here. Or if you're not on Kula Nursery, we'll see you on the website and get to learn more. Thank you so much.